Most people in America are familiar with parental grooming, right? When a child is small, the parents tend to choose their clothes, their bathing times, their sleep times, their eat times, and what they're going to motherfucking eat. They also are going to choose their hairstyles. And as a child grows, the usually beautician in a lady shop is doing that child's hair, or someone at an inexpensive sort of great clip shop, which gives you a great haircut for a very reasonable price. It's amazing these young women are making their living as they do, but they do a great job, and we appreciate that. In life, we are thankful for the deals that we can make with other people. We're thankful for the economical shops that help to serve the American people. We are also marveled by how those people lovingly give up more wages that they could be earning for their service to Americans to, in order to keep a stable job. And perhaps what they do is they make an hourly wage and that gives them a stable paycheck as opposed to having to produce a client list which would require them to do a lot of social networking with their clients in order to get people to refer them. And that is the true art and state of a small business. A microscopic business might be a player on a street corner, but a true business dealer is going to be evaluating the local business development chamber as well as the local networking organizations that are planted here. It's true I moved myself to a city with great potential, but what I found after making that move by walking literally from downtown Indianapolis all the way to Champaign, Illinois, with only two people helping me along the way, one for a 20 minute ride down a kind of regular state highway and the other for the final 40 minutes by a guy who worked in one of the maintenance shops that I can tell you and he and I still wave high and I'm grateful to him. But the reality is that a man who's willing to walk to build a business, to walk, to find the earnings and the living, to do that is walking because the sheriff's department stole his business vehicle. When I say that it's because when a vehicle is impounded by a community officer, there's supposed to be a lawful reason for it. The officer might have tried to, Officer Combs might have tried to play it as she had the right to do it because of the value of the goods in my vehicle. But here's what I saw that woman do. I saw her pick up my bag of my hard drives and put it in her vehicle. So my car got impounded for a good long time. But by the time that I got my car out, which should not have been impounded at all, what we found was that the vehicle price tag in terms of the daily keeping fee by the local community impound worth was worth far more than the actual vehicle. Now, for you and I who are making a business decision and if we're impoverished and if we're fighting for our life, we might have to make someone in our family help us to pick up our goods that had been monstrously abused by the people inside that shop or some police officer who thought they'd have a gay old time in our vehicle. And openly, even the pizza that I was about to eat that I just received out of kindness from a great pizza shop across America and a national brand was still sitting on the front of the vehicle. Now I took my license plate, which is lawfully mine. I probably took my title and I took everything out of it that I could. And I had to take it to my storage unit. But what I find amazing is that all while I was going in and out of my storage unit in Fishers called the U Store Place, that I was constantly seeing that my property boxes and my organization were being abused. At the same time, because of the improper insulation and sealing connections and manufacturing of that unit, several things, several bags, got flooded or dripped on and ruined. Now, a person who has that storage unit like me under my own single name and contract would have a right to complain because the whole goal of those units is that it's supposed to keep things reasonably, marginally, within a real de 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 degree of certainty, safe without being used, abused, or stolen from. But I was constantly finding my boxes repeatedly entered into my organization of my business materials, my organizations of my religious materials, my organizations of my textbooks and other things ruined. 